there yet. Yeah. Unlock, my guy. I, uh, I don't, I'm not too sure. <laughs> uh -oh. I have a brilliant idea. <laughs> Someone put him on my back. You can ride piggyback on me. Mishka can probably take one of them. Huh? I'm sure. No, 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 I'm good. You you have to carry her. I'm good. You know I'll go tell know. everyone to get set up for injury. <laughs> I do have to kill a rat in a, in a short okay. minute. So. I'm glad. Good morning, Mr. Jenny. Take him to breakfast. Uh, well, that's yes, quite a hearty breakfast for me. Well, the fire. I should be sticking to the tea. Ah, man. We're back. Everyone else is coming. <sighs> in this condition, well, I'm sure we'll fix it, and it's always better than losing the entire thing, you know? I have a back of it. They're still in the veil, I'm sure. They're mostly carrying everyone out. Can you find, um... Oh, they're here. Uh, yeah. I... Yes, hi. Uh, they're, they're in the veil. Welcome find, back. Find, so um, find, uh, find, find Jerome, or... Is it Jerome? I've forgotten. J Jerome? Uh, sorry. The, the doctor. The doctor, yeah. If he's around, if he's doctor, available I today. I, I will look for the doctor. I will look for the Where are the others? In the veil still. I came to yeah. get everyone ready. Have you returned on your own? What? I, 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 like, You're three not, minutes. You have abandoned the others. Someone might be hurt. They're coming back now. They're gonna... Um, Melody's well, you're not so mobile and someone has an arrow to them. them. Like I'll give you a, as many as you want. After. I must have passed them. No. Not by much. Over there. All the way over there. Uh, yeah, come the close. Closer? There's two bridges. Take your pick. Yeah, where is Nishka? That's closer to where we can get a medical attention. She'll, she'll catch up. She'll catch up. Catch up. Don't worry. Let's go. We have two injured. So we cannot. You also injured. We cannot yeah. waste time. Besides, so Nishka knows this place more than we do. Yeah, she'll be fine. Right, everyone. 
Sam is on the back of the hill. I have met whoever comes to the town square, and if not, I do not know them yet. People are injured. I'm sorry. You're fine. Do you do, uh, okay. She's going to inspect. How long oh, has you been in here? You have a great advantage. For, uh, for a day. A wet half of them. Oh. You just dumped it in the sink, okay? Stuck in my... Stuck in my liver. I couldn't pull it out. We need a half of these bandages. Liver? Okay. Um, well, there's a sink there. I'm trying to make some... Stuck in your liver. Arms. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Stay put. That was too many. Okay, we have four dry ones. Um... Okay. What can do we need? I can around. get started. You're not supposed to do that, but you need to. But how do you? Yes. Do for an arrow, you it's just. I'd recommend. Okay, don't pull it back. Push it through. You have to push it a two. I'll do a two. Because arrows okay. are barbed. You know, you don't want to pull that back through. That's going to cause more damage. Get ready to heal it immediately. Okay. Right. You, have to break them? you can snap it if you want to make it shorter, but it depends on where the other side of the arrow is. But that would be ideal. Uh, Miss Jenny, are you injured? You right I, I, I'm, I'm okay for now. Okay. Okay. On the count of three, all right? One, two, three. There we go. Applying pressure. Please. Where do you want me to put this? I have rather than press it. I deeply apologize. If the blue one is not dead, are you alive? She is alive, but as you can see, she's really fucked up. We're gonna have to extract the crystals from her body. Oh, okay. uh, I have the red one. Do you need any other color? Or should I just bring in a song? No, I think this to you would be fine for now, dear. Thank you. Jamie, are you alright? Focus on Melody and Gale. I don't know where Gale is. Are you able to breathe? Because this will help your blood loss. Yeah, let me... Let me open up my mouth. I can now. What happened to her? I do need to. Her gun exploded on her. Okay. Um, I would recommend I'm going to. Oh no, actually, you don't. Fabian. Yes, miss. Could you clean the blood off this wound and then bandage it back up? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Can you bandage it? Okay. A second wound will heal you... on its own. Did you mean a wet bandage or...? Yes, to clean the blood. Oh no, a wet rag to clean the blood I have and the clean wet bandage. A bit of a numbing salve. It's about the best I could do with the ingredients I we have. I don't know if it's a sting. I'm gonna go out and harvest okay. some more. Just so that we have enough of a reserve. 
I, people are coming back soon. What's your name, sir? Thank, thank you. I left uh, one of my journals. It's turned to the page. If you need to make more. Nice to meet you. I don't know if we have so all the ingredients left, Bobby but... Gibson. I'm the Zero. Of the okay. Gale should be in here. Where is he? I don't know. I left him around the corner. Right. Um, what condition are you in? Here. Are you alright? Stable for now. We'll leave that here. Where are you from? Long story, but I'm from Linton. Had a gun exploded on HUD. I am not I sure how we can get out this place. Yeah, that's the one with the uh, how damaging. Well, like, it was a really bad thing to waste. Yeah. Does it rain now? Could you? Sure. Uh, uh, sure. 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 What kind of stones are these? And light strikes with uh, lightning more than the rain. You should be made to be able to uh, sit up a bit. Semi-conscious. Like yeah, me. yeah, I can, I can try. Yeah. Uh, give me a moment. I'm going to get some tools. Hands here if you need. Hold it. on. Right, we'll put some more uh, supplies. I'll put them over here. It'll just be Yeah, I'll take a seat with yourself. Yeah. Are you sure you don't need anything? Yeah. If you need to rest, I will let you lie down afterward. Perfect. Mm. 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 Alright, welcome right. to the Warden's right. Hill, and furthermore to each side. Get on the left. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah. no, it's best to be accommodating to you while you are covered here. Now you take here. a seat. I'm sure there's a wet cloth or something to clean up your face or whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to use a sink here. I can use my bathroom. Yes. Let's see if I remember the time this from the book. Sitting bomb, perhaps, to help. Did you say this was oh, the warden? Hi. Welcome to the warden's guild. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna lay you back down. It might be better for your wound. Than to do. But, you're fine to sit if you're comfortable. I wouldn't walk. Not until the doctor allows it. I'll keep giving her the water to breathe. Oh, Master Gale. Oh, oh, Jax. Uh, Hi! If you can't see me, can they hear me? It's okay, oh, my fingers are sticky. Jenny. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't go. I'd like to go for the small ones first, yes. We should save the neck one for last. Got the mission done. Bedlam's dead. Oi. <sighs> Most of the bandits. Good. Good advice. Going to prod at the second one. Edward? Dead. Going to prod again. Oh. I'm sorry, Miss Jenny. I know you two were. Fun. A lot better. You can rot in that hall for all I care. Yeah, at least got the air out of you. You went back to them. Yeah. No, this one's too big. Oh, Thank you. I see. Thank you. Wolfric said the. Hey, it's no problem. Wolfric said the effluvium wouldn't have done it. The resources to deal with. That it was of his own volition. He was dead when we arrived. Make it too risky, isn't it? Yeah, it's too deep. We see. I hope she turns out all right. She's in good hands. I get anything, uh, refreshment, food, you've been traveling for a while, I assume? Two days back. Yeah, I'm okay. okay. Water, if there is any handy. I can't. Of course, water. I don't. Yes, have... miss. I'm afraid that they'll explode. Yes, 
That's what I was afraid to do in the road. That's why I didn't take them up. Um, we can put a numbing agent on them. They look really bad. Um, it'll help with some of the pain for maybe a couple of hours, but even covering them up, putting too much friction on them, I'm worried that they'll for me, I'm retired no more. It's furious hand with crystals and parts of such. Perhaps we can talk to the blacksmith. Here you go, miss. Thank you. Oh, stole it from you. There we are. Please do so. So we're worried the crystals in here might explode. Well, the result of this was the crystals in the gun exploding on her. Nothing as severe as the other. Her body, It'll be fine. Any prodding and even mm. shattering it wrong enough to be exploded. Still. Anything to yes, happen? Seeing as it's embedded in her nerves and arm and neck, can that potentially kill her? I'm sure you uh, yeah, have noticed the... at this point that we are um, down to guild leaders. They have apparently departed us to I'd rather her lose her arm than her neck. elsewhere Let's to see. collect this bounty. Uh, mm. So they will return, I do not know how long. A few days, maybe a week. Mm. And so, as you could see, okay. everyone yeah. else is... Um, <sighs> Pink was an unlucky color, apparently. I'll be here giving her water. At least I know this will suit her. Uh, firearm exploded on her. Right. Be careful. I heard. So, See. Yes, I was there when I, it happened. I, 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 I'm Melody, not it, sure what it, transpired, what but um. What am kiddo? The fight was over. We were concluding all matters, crystal. and all of a sudden she exploded. It exploded on her. Injuries. The blueprints I looked over them, they were fine. What, what happened? Just an arm more broken. Oh, fuck. Perhaps. They're partly better now, but. Okay. Unconscious, but. Broken? They hurt and they've been getting harder to move. You have more experience with crystals. Okay. Um. He's, he's, um. I've not reset very many bones. I think it's. I don't know if it's still broken or not, but. I suppose it could be. As it is, have to let stick for now. Flora was running pretty low I can by then. Probably figure something out here. Let's take a look at the arm. Do you need any of the arm up? Or I can keep healing it, get it into a better state than it's in now. Fuck. Oh, there is also a few ones in the neck. Sorry, uh, <clears throat> this is going to be a little cold. If they're in the neck, that might be a little bit more uh, of any kind. dangerous to remove. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm quite all right. You all took longer than expected. Just making sure everyone here is... What's that? You were gone a lot longer than I thought you would be. Yeah, it took us twice as long to get back. With Melody and Gale. I mean, Gale was nearly cut in half. I'm sure she's taking care of his uh, priority. What? As well. Is there a way to drain them? Drain them and... Inert, He's standing. Uh, I mean, Not sure if he should be. Okay. Okay. Good to know. I mean, Hi, he seemed excited. I guess from what I've at least experienced only a little bit is that when they're inside someone's body, due to whatever that may be, things were pretty okay until we got to. Um, if she would use magic, sure perhaps it would turn I don't know, some sort of palace to be safe in, in the back of the camp. The problem is also she's unconscious. I'm going to ask. What did you find? The rest of the bandits in Bedlam. To be fair, I'm going by what I've at least. And Edward. I've never really seen anybody be fuck this fucked up by mana crystal. Miss Anastasia, is there anything else we can get you? Um, I. I mean, I'm not. I don't know. Um. I mean, honestly, I. I have a situation to attend in the guild hall if I ask. No, it's fine. We, we can take it from here. But I shouldn't. No problem. Let's be real. 
I'm not the hands. I don't have the hands of a surgeon. He was dead when we got there. We are afraid of like oh, folding it too much and causing it to explode. Yes, he decided he wanted the gold. Used, I mean, they seem to be just the standard mouth crystals that we even have on the outside here. Unless, unless she can tell me and that, unless, she, unless it's different so? and she can truly really tell me, I can't fully remember. Right, Wolfric so said that the effluvium couldn't have made him go back. That he would have done it on his own. And get her to manually drain the crystals herself. And there he was. It's... And then, oh, fuck me. then maybe we can try extraction then when they're not primed to explode. I mean, I don't know. So, right, yeah, you. I'm just gonna sorry. If it should happen, can rot there for all I like care. Be there just to keep an eye on it, not just for self-study, but also just. I'll... I feel like this is my fault. I looked over the gun. I looked over the. I looked over the blueprints. It looked fine on my end. It looked like brilliant craftsmanship. I have no idea what the fuck happened. There was too many enemies. A moment. Perhaps Melody fired too much, too quickly. Perhaps someone knocked it out and broke it. There are many components that would have made it go wrong. Yeah, I, I know. Be fine. And listen, we can blame ourselves all we want. We need to look at this from the other side. We can probably figure this out later, alright? Just let it be. Excuse me. Brother I don't know how many potions worry. they've given you, but it might be good to ingest oh. something actually normal. Oh, uh. If you, if you can. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Try to. If you try to focus healing, perhaps, try to keep it. The magic as much as you can away from the crystal last thing one is to recharge them. Even Nothing that's worth oh, looking yeah, at now is fine. Quite alright, focus on the others for now. And just using the water oh, are you? That's good. Oh, okay. That's good at least. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna drop off the crystals that I just got and I'll be back, alright? Putting the blacksmith. Okay. Me and Snooshka are you well? Right. Uh, Fine, just a making sure specific. everyone else is... If you're the blacksmith in town, then I'll probably come Good. and see you today about something. Good, I brought some supplies in case you need anything. Now, I just brought one of everything, because I wasn't sure which ones to uh, bring. Alright, good talking to you. Your medical acumen is shining through. Yeah. Well, truthfully, I have no acumen in here medicine. some information about the town and you and what you Listen, do you, have you seen any... I guess a broken wrist is what I get for... Asking about, uh, Mr. I think stupid enough to... Oh, speak to them. Very well. I don't even remember the town's name. Are you sure you're alright? Hi. Great oh, start. Hi. <laughs> uh, feel good enough to stand, or still gonna be bedridden for a while? I'm fine. Uh, so. uh, I'm a tough son of a bitch. I can get up. Hold on. <laughs> I'm fine. So. So I don't think I got your name. Oh yeah, this is the warden's guild house, obviously you're in the infirmary. Uh he almost died. Let's see. If you like I can show you where you can get some food. 
I'm also starving. Are you trying yeah, to Yeah, I, I don't want to be a distraction here. They need to help her out. Yeah, all right. Good to walk. Oh, that actually might be very useful. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Miss <laughs> Flora, would you need any help with the know healing what's process? I overheard Raz to... was fairly good. Thank you. Take care of. Oh, we can use it in our new friend that is not here. Okay, okay. he can. If yeah, she's they able. Just left, I believe. Well, hopefully, it was a doctor who discharged them. I don't know. You, so, maybe it was somebody that I didn't well, know. Was Melody in. cannot. I think be... everyone's. Melody cannot be seen okay. right now. We don't want any mana to go to the crystals in her body. I see. And recharge see. them. We want to expel the mana from it instead. How deep are they in her arm? Thank you, Anna. I mean, he can heal my broken arm if he wishes to. You said you were sorry. Raz! Huh. I have a thing, very nice. Yeah. We did do our best, or at least be most of us. I don't know what the hell it is either. Sure that, um, no. wanting an undo death uh, was no. not so. Oh, in order here, feel free to help and yourself. And I do believe it is the uh, majority of these bandits were wow. attended like? or Honestly, at least a drink. Um, a drink. given a chance uh, to... I remember something that... I don't have any water today. Excuse me, Jenny. You're in the way. For redemption for some of them, I, I think that is. A Where are we? People think. What do you know? I can do this now. I need to help Fabio. I caught the mouse. Sorry. Please continue. He's in the infirmary. Bandits were mostly. I don't. I don't know. They were youths. Misguided well, and guess. affected Fun. by the Feluvian. So, so with its yeah, absence and its effects no longer uh, having any sway over them, most of them were dissuaded from yeah. any further yeah. conflict. Well, that's right. good to well that's good. I hope you enjoy that. Yes. Hopefully, yes. some of these. Uh -huh. going to come. You, you can't. Five minutes. Five minutes. I'm meeting with Fabio. Jitty. Okay. Jitty. Okay. Do you want Gavi? Hold on. Two hundred ninety-eight. Hold on. Dear Jenny, I am sorry for what I have done. It was very improper of me to do what I did to that dead body, and I will refrain from doing so in the future and think before. Before I act, uh, as an apology, please accept a marble of your favorite color. Thank you. You're welcome. You will, marble. <clears throat> Not today.
Lucas Jenny. I worry. Uh, I was just simply looking to speak to <laughs> one of the leaders I, about employing <laughs> sort of another. Yes, it is. More sort of request than an actual. I don't know if you can catch that one. That's pretty big. I some help cleaning the town a little bit. If, if the extra hands are available, but it, it doesn't have to be now or whatever. That's just, it's just more so just a request. I'm sure that most of our times people can get by, and I can help to employ the other some of the guards with a little bit of extra pay. In your absence, in your absence, I will gladly um, human this request. Um, what exactly are you inquiring about? Oh. That's wonderful. I I, 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 I greatly appreciate it. Um, currently, as it stands, there's uh, quite a bit of debris still standing from the charred remains of my, my town. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, but uh, it's just you know, it, it kind of going around and seeing what is uh, uh, in disarray and uh, doing a bit of cleanup wherever you see it would just be greatly appreciated. Ah, uh, uh, can relay the uh, I suppose the the, the uh, remaining debris. I, I believe there's a, a set of buildings in the distance with some older town, uh, town structures, uh, that, oh, that you could have yeah, relayed the, uh, the debris towards. If, if you have the time, of course, not the, uh, uh, well, I don't think to make it somewhat of a, uh, problem, we uh, but you, 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 you all seem yeah. very talented. Uh, wonderful! Uh, I'm very, I'm very glad to hear it. Thank you, thank you for, uh, 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 hearing my request. And if there's anything else we can do for the people of the town, we are at your service. Oh, I'm very grateful. I certainly need it in these uh, trying times of dealing with the situation. Uh, that's it. I uh, don't want to keep too many of your uh, uh, attentions. I uh, just wanted to at least offer that as a uh, option to so have the assistance, the extra assistance to the already ongoing situation. Mr. Mayor, may okay. I make a recommendation? Uh, yes. Decaf. 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 I'm going to go ahead and depart before I begin rambling again. So, I Are you a mouse? appreciate all your help. I'm going to go and find my guardsmen and deploy the same thing to them. Uh, They're right there. Uh, Wonderful. Uh, and uh, again, I uh, uh, enjoy all, all your company. If you need anything or any I am. You planning to try to catch me? Uh, I'm rambling again. I'm going to run away. Thank you. I don't know if I can catch you. You're pretty big. I didn't overpromise, did I? Then let's save us both the trouble and say that yes, I'm a mouse. Savior effort. No, it's just a. Okay. The one with the hat said you are a mouse. Ah, uh, so I wanted to check. I am, in fact, a mouse. I recommend getting some form of face covering. If you don't already have one, just to keep the smoke out of your, out of your lungs. Shall we gather a pile right. of things? Um, just tackle it when you have the time. Uh, a moment, if you would. Anyone I know in my life, so I just... I heard of the wardens here, and, well... She asked if I'm only thing I could do was... One of us. Travel here... Oh, yeah. Yes. 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 A craftsman is an engineer. Well, I've been here for a couple years in the region. Not much goes around, it seems, with my expertise of engineering, but I know other trades like alchemy, 
my ship. Oh, Mr. Gilburn, down. I would like to help move my own belongings out here. A little dirt. Father, I'm called back. Of course, belongings are going to be for individual, but we can see the debris outside. I'm always willing to. Yeah. Yeah. Join the mercenary party. engineer uh, from London. There oh, is one who I am yeah. sure I uh, <coughs> you work on, not be on the ship. In an up yeah. I, I served in an airship way. for six years. Yeah, I heard. Uh, that was what you could what to call an engine sure. operator. Yeah. I have not. Fabian <laughs> has. Or a emergency. Yeah. A little awkward, because I think we would have been on I obviously want to help, you know, it's my job, but, you know, they're not just here. okay. Many, um, on my way here. A few of them. It is certainly a choice for Gavi. Others had no quarrel with me. So what I don't know is if there's colliders on that, so I'm going to test it while I'm... Oh, shit. Soldiers on either side. Yeah, there are colliders up here. I couldn't remember if I've been up. I actually don't know what that creature is. Elusive has had several weeks to come up with ways to annoy Ginny. The problem is, is that the people that can get up there are basically like Jenny, Gobby, Raz. <laughs> so a secret fort that is high is of limited use unless it does actually remain quite secret. However, but um, we'll be moving to a mo new map in a couple of weeks. So that's why like the city is really quite badly burned. Like a lot of it has been destroyed. Um, but... Uh, Um, that's not reflected on the map because uh, th this map is basically frozen while the rebuild's ongoing. Yeah. 
time in. Well, to be honest, there's not a whole lot to we're say. We're putting together a party. Bandit attacks in the area when me and a um, couple of my traveling compatriots first showed up here during the war. Um, they kept being the a mild issue, and as we continued to deal with the issue, we captured some of the... To figure out where their leader and was. A party, as in we did that. Killed most of them. We had to help clean things from the town. Yeah. Let me ask the mayor some clarifying questions. Killed most of them and then uh, found you fighting some stragglers on the way back. <laughs> I'm so hopeful for that. Yeah. I thought I was unlucky for the last two years not being able to find you all. And I, well, I wish you was in better conditions, but I suppose I'm still a tad lucky being, being able mm -hmm. to find you all. I might have completely missed the mark and just walked by. Hmm. If it wasn't for you all being able to find me in that forest. Honestly, you made the same mistake we did trying to find this place. Came in uh, oh. further up north instead of taking a ship directly to the uh, to the coast here. And then we also <laughs> went through the bay. That's where I came from. Far up north. Well, uh, well I, mean, I thought the wardens were place. originally up north. <laughs> yeah, you know, for a... Uh, Big semi famous guild, you think would be a little bit of a homie? What the fuck? Would have been faster. Might have been faster. I'd have caught him. Caught him before he burned half the fucking town down. That probably wouldn't be good. Then again, I suppose enough yeah. people would drown anyway, wouldn't it? Should we move probably. away from the graveyard? All of our conversations. Yeah, did, our conversation, though. Yeah. yeah. Shoot. Genie. Yeah, I, I think we should head that way. Maybe when we see the stalls, we can get onto a normal conversation topic. Hi. Morning. Hi. How are things here? Well, we're talking about turning him into a bridge. Not now, Wally. Me into the bridge. No, th this isn't. I was. Is everyone alright? Everyone's alive that went with us. Bedlam's dead, most of his bandits. That's good. Uh, let's see. Something to matter? You're not really your usual self, it seems. I'd have preferred not to have to kill a bunch of kids. Understandable, yeah. They're young and stupid, but. We were successful, but we didn't do a good job.
الآخرة exactly is the point what do we do that I can be proud of well I suppose I can be happy that at least Bedlam didn't kill anyone not Bedlam Edward Bedlam didn't kill any of us Why did I think he was better than that? He takes a dagger and goes back and dies with it in his hand because he's an idiot. Because he thought he could trust a bunch of bandits. Well, apparently he trusted them more than he trusted me. He didn't leave sooner. He was gonna sneak away. I mean, he could have just killed me. Well, I suppose maybe he didn't want to kill me. I'm the only one who was halfway decent, but he could have just left sooner. He could have run. I wasn't watching him during the game. It's not my job. I'm not here to be everyone's keeper. I guess maybe Mossa was right about himself. Maybe he is just a bandit too. Thought Edward had chosen. Chosen to be someone better. I think Feline has. Maybe Masa will. Maybe I'm not wrong about him yet.
Really willing to suffer another bandit to live, though? Lena seems happy to mete out her own justice as she may. Justice. It's the letter of the law, Miss Ginny. Except when it applies to me being a pirate. Fuck off. Unlikable wench. Sorry, just hydrating. My throat's getting scratchy. You are right, it is self-doubt. She actually just basically needs a dose of her own medicine. Someone had asked me earlier in the, the season, like er, er, in an earlier episode, asked me, like, how do you remain so cheerful all the time or something? Because how who I choose to be. I think it was probably Feline. But Jenny's tired and in pain and hurting and angry. She hasn't eaten since, uh, like, the morning of the mission, which was three days ago. What do we do now, Ginny? Someone new from Linden here, so that's always a good sign. You'd think that half the way, oh, halfway around the world and in Aaron, that there wouldn't be so many fucking.
Why did he have to go back? It's so hard to help him. <laughs> I thought he could be better. But he could. Why wouldn't they just surrender? Those expressions of Resolve and devotion. Loyalty on their faces. Did I look like that? Like those early days. <laughs> it would have been so much easier if we had just all surrendered then. I'd probably be dead, but at least... <laughs> it used to be easy.
just want to go home. Pardon the nose blowing. I don't know if that comes through. So I'm crawling for everyone else, so I'm just going to walk slowly. But I'm definitely wading through the water, I promise.
So the smoke here is the same substance that manipulated the bandits um, into following Bedlam. The reason that I have the mask that's pulled down now and had a mask on the mission was for protection against it, incidentally. means what I'm doing right now is a horrendous idea out of character. Wolfric was wrong. We did bring him back. When he said bow, it was like he was the only person in the world. Yes, that's why they all did it. been this long, but feel that again, then at least I'll know, right? That there's a chance, you know? You to go back. the relic at least I can understand you know I... at least then I can point to something you know I don't understand Maybe, maybe he went back because he had to. want to know. His last words were. Sure. Why not? Maybe then at least I'd know.
destroy. 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 No, that wouldn't have been him. Maybe that's Bedlam. I don't know what his second hand was. I was... What did he say? You say, I. When you just got pulled me back and Gail got. What do you say? Ugh. Stupid mouse. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Can't remember anything. <laughs> you know. Jenny. Come on, you can do better than that. Bedlam got me down on one knee by a single word. You can do better than that. What, just because he's dead? <laughs> Is that what Wolfric's doing? <laughs> no, I want to know. I don't want to be wrong about him. But there's nothing. Edward? Is 
those last words. Tell me then. If only I had met them or you. fucking point. <laughs> Euphoria. Bow. Okay. Okay. No point hiding, I'll stand here all day. Tell me why you did it. You afraid to tell me? Tell you me why you... Tell me why you turned your back on us? You still scared of me? Be alone then. I don't care.
Jenny, we have to go. Go where? Go where? What I thought. more real than he was then. Jenny. Can you talk to me? Do you know about what, Nishka? You've not been yourself. And... Turns out myself is wrong about a lot of things. Wolfric seemed so sure that it wasn't the effluvium, but it still seems there enough to me. It still plays with my fucking head. So maybe Wolfric's wrong. I don't know. Did you ask anyone else? What did Wolfric say? I asked Wolfric if if the, the artifact could have made Edward go back. 
you know, or if he went of his own volition. And <laughs> Wolfric said he hoped it was. Hoped he went back on his own. He didn't think it couldn't have been the relic. Just wanted to be right, I guess. If he was so convinced, he shouldn't have... Should have just killed him when he was our prisoner. Would that have felt right to you? To not give him a chance? What if he had hurt someone, Vishka? I was wrong about him. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Maybe that... Maybe it was the fog. I... The first I saw of him is when you were dragging him away. I don't know why he was there. Are you certain, Wolfric? He said he did not go back because of the effluvian. Is there... But he was gone before we got there. Bedlam kills traitors? Not that hard to believe. <laughs> and even if you were wrong about him, and even if he did go back for whatever reason, that doesn't make believing in people wrong. It doesn't make being kind a weakness. I do to help. It breaks my heart to see you like this. The only answers lie with the dead, I guess. Maybe the veil has answers, but... <laughs> well... I think it's given me everything it's going to. You cannot trust that place. Maybe. We seem to give a lot of people what they wanted. It is a spiteful place, Jenny. It doesn't give you what you want. It gives you what you deserve sometimes. 
And sometimes it gives you what it believes you deserve. Bedlam, he gave two commands with that thing. The first was to bow, but I don't know what the second one was. That was, did you know? Do you know? Did you hear? I didn't. By then, I was fighting all of the bandits that were pouring in. I lost track of most of everything that was happening. Maybe one of the others knows. Have you spoken to anyone else? Well, I, I know you haven't. <laughs> Ginny. Hands. Give me your hands. Ginny. Look at me. Hands. Please. This is not my first time in the veil. I know it does things to you. Did you go back without your mask? Look at me. Just me. It is just you and me right now. Please. Did you go back without your mask, sweetheart? I went looking for answers. The veil does not have those. Seems to know what I went back about. Does it? Well, given that Edward is standing right behind you, yeah, probably. Or is it because you've been thinking about it? And the misplaced tricks on your mind? Think you're smart? You're a very smart girl, you tell me. Maybe. And even if it does, told you, the veil is a spiteful place. A miserable place that does not let things go. Even long past when it should. <laughs> It is just you and me. It's just us right now. Jenny, come here. Come here. I'm sorry. I wish there was more I could say, and more I could do. I don't have the answer, and I do not know everything going through your mind, but I know this place is bad. Like standing in the smoke of a fire, and your eyes are already crying. We should not be here, you should not be here. Go ahead, I'll catch up in a sec. I'll 
be right over there. Okay? I will be in eye shot. If you see something that is not me, just remember, look for me. I am real. This is not. I wish you'd at least have said goodbye. Why? Goodbye, Edward. I hope I'm wrong. I'll eat it again for the blowing nose sound.
great. You look like you're having a hard time. This is the worst time to ask this, but firstly, do you know how I can get in touch with the guild leaders? I need to ask them about the guild members. Uh, I can assist with this for the time being. They are all currently out. Shit! Okay, do you know any inventors? I need to talk to inventors. Our current inventor is Miss Jenny. Uh, you were being sought out by uh, Miss Anastasia. Did she find you? She's right there, so I assume she will in a moment. I will have to get back to you on this. What is the jacks? They are currently taking some. How do I send? Do, do we have any kind of way to mass and quickly send letters? What letters? So, I'm hoping to try and get in touch with other towns so that way we can start bringing in, you know, proper uh, produce and start getting, you know, other resources in because currently it's looking like a lot of our uh, lumber is currently destroyed and burned down and we're going to need to start getting that up and going. Make a list of where you need letters and... Um... What? Write your letters, um, and uh, when you're done, let me know and show me on a map where you need them all to go. Will do. I'll keep you in touch. How much is your rate? This is... I'm not going to charge. Not for this. Tom needs it. All right, then whatever you're wanting to drink this month, it's on me. Your maps get badly burnt. I got a new job. Don't worry about it. Okay. And I can draw you up a new one. Easy. It's all up here. I'm a pretty smart fella. All right. We'll be in touch. I hope you're okay. Okay. Oh, you said you're looking for I me. I think I'll step inside. Um, I don't really have anything to talk to you about. I was just worried. Am I ready to ready? All right, yeah, I'm ready to ready. Well, that's all right. I'm glad you're ready. Right. Talk uh, if you want. I'm gonna wander off somewhere if you want to oh, come. They're still at the sparring ground over there. I don't think. Uh, yep. She's right there, uh, Miss. Yeah, yeah. I, I see her. You're, you're very good. Um, Happy to help. Good job, Justin. Pat, 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 pat. Mm. Do you like the water? Sure. No one ever really goes to the beach. People stay pretty close to town, I guess. Right. Especially now. I'm not interrupting anything. No. I was everywhere. Wondering mm -hmm. if I were Ginny, where would I be? I am. Um... And um I went to sit and think for a while and then I was in the veil. There. That's where the effluvium is. You could get hurt. I suppose.
I thought you'd be somewhere up high. <laughs> I checked the canyon. I looked at the remaining buildings in town. I looked up on the rooftops. I wasn't expecting to find you in the Vale. I saw Nishka there, so I thought, she's got it covered. When you stayed, I got worried. I, um... I had asked Wolfric after. Because he knew about the artifact. And I asked if he thought that I asked if he thought that it was the artifact that brought Edward back, or if he would have had to go on his own volition. And... Wolfric said he liked to think that it was of his own volition that he went back. That the effluvium wouldn't have done it, but... I was hoping he was wrong. You know? I was hoping that it would... When we approached Bedlam, he, um... He pulled out the artifact and... I don't know, used it somehow and... He told us to bow and I think mostly everyone was got themselves out of the radius, but I was close and like he was the only person in the world for a little bit. Like there was nothing except that I was supposed to bow. Eventually he moved over to Nishka and then I was able to get up, but... But I wanted to know if I went back, you know, what that would be, what I would feel. I don't know if it was going to be that feeling again, you know? Because if it was, then... Then maybe that's why Edward went back. That maybe I was, you know... Maybe I wasn't wrong about him. How long were you in it? In the veil? Oh no. Half an hour. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less. Did you see anything? At first voices and then... <laughs> then Edward. Then a bandit for a minute, but it wasn't real. None of it was real, really, but... Oh no. 
You said he was dead when you got there already. Is there not even any hope that it's not for what you thought it was? <laughs> what reason would he have to go back? I hope people don't change overnight, but he spent time here. He talked to people. There's a chance. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not trying to. But if you had the option to think of him as someone good instead. Wouldn't it hurt less? Even if you weren't sure? You sound heartbroken. <laughs> we, um... We had, uh... We, go, we went in and... It was basically like the first first camp that I had gone to. I tried to get them to surrender and tried to get them to just set it down and they wouldn't have to be dead. But they were all young, you know. Not very many older than me, if any. That those looks on their faces, you know, like that loyalty and devotion and Fervor. What we all looked like. They didn't know. It's, they didn't have a choice. And that's not your fault either. That's just unfortunate circumstances. Don't wish I hadn't had to kill them. Who would Edward go back? Why? I just... <laughs> Maybe it's foolish, but... Part of me, I think maybe the part that's most upset, just wishes he had said goodbye. He never told you he was leaving, did he? No. Maybe it's because he thought you wouldn't let him. <laughs> I wouldn't let him, I would have.
If he had a reason other than rejoining those bandits, I would go with him. Would have gone. That maybe he'd be alive, you know. <laughs> the veil, um. The veil said his last words had been, uh. He wished he had met, uh. Us before he met them, you know. He wants to hope so, you know, but I know it's not real, right? But it. I don't know. It's hard. It's. It's ill. I think it just. Tries to tell us what we want to hear. <laughs> and. But some part of me wants to believe that. You know. Maybe Reeves had got to him a bit. I would rather. Foolishly believe that. Than. I don't know. Just a way of knowing, and I, I wish I had answers. I can't comfort you in that way, but I'll be here for as long as you need. If you want me to cook you a really bad breakfast? I can. Or. I don't know, try to climb a mountain with you. Anything I can do. I haven't had an appetite since the morning of the mission and uh, I think we'd both just end up falling down the mountain probably. Probably. Could laugh about it later. <laughs> Not good at these things. Well, given You're uh... important to me. Thank you, Anna. I am. I think I have some questions that I want to ask the uh, the others that went. Might be good. Thank you, really. I wish I could do more. <laughs> You're the first person in a very long time that I've been able to just chat with. <laughs> Not have to hide things or... Watch my words, you know.
You know, oddly enough. I think we're in the same boat. <laughs> I wasn't sure at first that it had been so long. But it was like a puzzle piece. It just worked. <laughs> I got really scared that you were going to leave. We, um... <laughs> sounded like that new guy was from Linden, so... May happen yet. You could be safe here. I... Please don't leave anything. If I have to go, I'll make sure I say goodbye. But only if I have to. Alright. He, um, he said he fought in a war. Yeah. I'd never seen anything like him. I don't know. I don't know. Is there any chance you could be on the same side? There weren't all that many of us from my side that have the amount of stuff that he was carrying. There's a chance, but... Right. But that's something I'll have to figure out, I guess. And not today. Yeah. Yeah. Probably best not. I'm, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna go wash my face and then look for some of the people that I'm trying to chat with. See you later. Yeah, good on. luck. I think the guild hall is pretty, uh, pretty full at the moment, so be careful. Well, I was gonna I don't go want to be seen. Gonna go to the pond. Major shout out to Kashi, by the way, for like sticking with that for so long. <laughs> he was the DM in the 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 bail. I'm gonna hit my out of character toggle here for just a second and uh 
wash my actual face. So I will be right back with you. <laughs> Excuse me. I really need to get a second faceplate for when I'm gonna have, like, crying episodes, because holy shit. <laughs> Alright. Facilities uh, regarding the economy as well, and that's why it's an, an important thing that we have these discussions, and in my opinion. But of uh, your jurisdiction and, and mine is small, smaller authorities. Stop. Stop. That's great. Put on the face, Jenny. It's what we do. You let people see, then they know more you want them to. Between Anna and Jenny. Or Jenny and Edward. Anna. <laughs> I know Taylor skims at least portions of my VOD sometimes. <laughs> so maybe we'll see what she has to say about that. One thing Jenny has very little experience with? Romance. Because she doesn't stay in one place. She hasn't stayed in one place long enough to, like, have a relationship. Um, basically, as long as she's been an adult. Now, the reason for 
for this is that there was some discord between myself and Ginny and I wish to avoid further discord discord on a ship is mm -hmm. rather important thing to avoid and I'm sure it's no different for a girl so ah there she is Ginny uh, 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 Fabian if you would hello Miss Jenny how are you, Farron? Oh, the other... The, what's her name? Captain Talia. She's looking for you, I heard. The, um... Is, I don't know is, why. Is, is she the, 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 the new guild... I forgot her name. The new sailor. Yeah, she's, she just joined. The, the new sailor? Yes, Fabian, uh, the room arrangements... Who? What? What, what we have before she blinks off into nothing. Is that what you were talking about? Huh? Yes, please tell her the arrangements. Oh. So, it, it, I had to refile some paperwork and rearrange things, and I had seen today uh that you and uh miss uh miss elena were paired together as roommates in what capacity like a like living in the same space like the same room the way that you know fabian cut to the chase I'm sorry, I wasn't clear on what the, the chance The amended was. arrangements. Oh, of course. So, in, in the amended arrangements uh, that has been worked out with Nishka, Elena will be staying with her. I don't and know if that's Captain preferred. Captain Talia will be staying with you in my stead. I... If you have an issue with that, then you can speak to Fabian, as he will be handling the paperwork. Everyone is expected to contribute in this time of crisis for the town. I'm sure you understand. Don't we have like 12, 12 rooms or something? Oh yeah, there's a space and issue at the moment. Regarding um, a couple refugees from the town. Oh, also, we took in people. Okay. Yes, Jenny. Totally fine. Yeah. And uh, the mayor is staying as well. I didn't realize we were hosting people. Yeah, that's okay. Mm, just a few, the, the ones that have their homes burned. I'm still out, out of the space at night, though, of course. Uh, what would you like to eat? I am. Um... I'm sure probably. Be... Yeah, I. She can. She can. Uh, Captain. Right. Talia. Oh, Captain Talia. Talia. Something. She's a new captain here. I haven't met anyone no. here. Yes. She's from the Merchant Navy. Mm. Got it. Okay, She'll well, make introductions I'll... to you, I'm sure. Great. Sounds good. Alright. Hi. Very, very well. I'm gonna go. Unless you need something else, Fabio? No, no, Miss Jenny, of course. No. Okay. You're good. Good job. It's a bit slower now, isn't it? I think I have some spare bones we could use. Mm -hmm. Good armor is. Good armor is important. You know, we, that's why we keep ours so. You know, maintenance is important. I haven't had an occasion to use it, but. As a preview in the event that Ginny ever does have, like, a. You know someone awkwardly confess an emotion to her i have a blush toggle <laughs> do i anticipate needing it no but you know i also have rarely thought that i needed a cry emote and then all of my characters keep crying so apparently that's just what i do in roleplay a little and then oh. had to get ripped back open what and then 
Yeah. I've got a high yeah, pain I tolerance. I just found them in in the cabinet. They're, they're just there. I don't. They oh. are. If I can do it, I will. Ask yeah. There's a whole, there's a bottle of them. It's orange. Ah. Uh, okay. Do you, do you need go some? Look. I'll get you some. If, can you? you... <laughs> yeah, I probably shouldn't take. Uh, it's fine. They probably. It's fine. Also, did the Fabian? But no. You, you hold on. No, I, no, no, I meant like cheese. I'm drinking right now, so I don't hmm. know if right now. Hi. Okay. But... Okay. I assume you're Captain okay. Tolly. Okay. Okay, yes, is. that would be me. And you are very hard to find. I apologize. I've been out and about a little bit today. Yeah. Jenny, nice to meet you. Good to meet you, too. I've heard your name tossed around a lot, so I was curious to meet you. You'll probably find that I um, tend to, well, as you found, like, move around a lot and also talk a lot, so, you know, sometimes people, like, hopefully not too many bad things about me. Um, anyways, uh, so I guess you're staying with me? Is that the thing? Um, I guess. Gotcha. I mean, I was told apparently I'm staying with that one, but then they said that you're staying with her? Well, yes, you're taking my room, Captain. Yeah. Fair point. You're gonna stay with me. It's through the dorms in to the right, and, um, first door, first door as you go around the corner. Hey. Um, gotcha. Gotcha. I don't think there's anything dangerous in there right now. Um, Come find me. If it has gears and is moving, uh, probably don't touch it because nothing's supposed to be moving in there right now. Oh, okay. Sometimes one of the gears comes loose and the tension spring starts unwinding and then it like starts moving on its own. I, I have a lot of things that I'm trying to work on right now. But anyways, um, yes. I'm just a sailor. Any of that goes way over my head. Different skills, different things. You know, it's a mix. You know, right? Like, I can't sail a ship. I've barely been on a ship. Well, I've been on ships, but like, I've never worked on a ship. So you know, it's it's different skill sets. I've spent most of my life on a ship. I don't know so I would I see you're before. in the Merchant Navy. Um, I wouldn't drink According to them. Elena. Uh, a little while before. I was on a trade ship. Yeah. Okay. Trade ship. Gotcha. Right. No, thank you. That's all I wanted to know. Well, it seemed like maybe you got to go to a lot of places. At least that's always fun. Traveling is good. I mean, there's all kinds of cool. Places. Places. Unfortunately, I didn't and, actually get to spend a whole lot of time on land uh, anywhere. Oh, I it was that's pretty true. much yeah, just sure. docking in the port. Unload the goods, yeah, yeah, take no. new goods to the next place. Got it. Well, um, dope? maybe now you can have more options Relax. because the guild, in theory, oh. someday will go other places. Uh, or Lee side will keep having problems and then we'll stay here. But, you know, I'm just going to drop this. Thank you. Well, for now, I will have to stay here considering I, I have no idea where my go. ship is. Oh, something happened. We were struck by a rogue wave and I fell overboard. The current oh, carried me to the shore don't. here. What was uh, the context? <laughs> well, that's <laughs> not great. I'm um, glad that you made it. Uh, okay. Do you want help, like, sending a letter or somewhere? <laughs> sending a letter wouldn't exactly help. We'd have to figure out where the ship's docked first. Gotcha. And then catch them while they're docked. And they presumably figure you're dead, because that's my understanding of people going overboard, is that that's usually what happens, yeah? Yeah, and trade companies don't care about the lives of their employees, they care about things getting where they need to go. Money makes the world go round, or something like that, you know. I don't even know if I can trade. Quite. What? Yeah. There, there, there. So what about you? How'd you end up here? Right there, I was a courier. 
what? and Messenger. There's so I three. have been right lots of places, really. Um, yeah. You know, and so yeah. I uh, like ended up on a, 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 a. I came across from from Irie down to Aaron, and I've been in Aaron <laughs> for I don't know a few months what? now. It's hard. All the days are the same. Um, but but Maybe so I'm... I was in Aaron for a while, and then uh, heard about the guild, and I was like, that sounds cool, uh, and uh, like a place that. Joke. I'm closer, I can't hear. Being a courier is great, You're but um, you don't really stay in one place very long. Hello. Uh, just a second. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. What? I'm currently still working upon them, but I am uh, filtering out some documentation you that me, uh, I'm you sure that I believe Miss Jackson would have already yes. informed you of. But uh, I, I need really your services if well, that would be all right. Oh, oh, wonderful. Okay. I should I just... She'll explain it. I just wanted to give you the. I'm going what? back. To that. You know, Fabian, yeah. I'm mostly deaf in this year, so this is really insensitive. So, um, yeah, I was a courier, what? and then I came to the guild to do different things, and <laughs> here I am. So, um, <laughs> being an adventurer sounded cool. Uh, well, it turns out that it's mostly just like that is... bandits yeah. so far. Come but so I've only been here like what? a month. Some change? Two months? I don't know. Again, all the days are the same. Um, but yeah. I don't know. I heard about it when I was traveling. I mean, that is very it. interesting. A pink-haired mouse courier <laughs> wielding a hammer. Oh, yeah. Not so much wielding right this minute, because uh, I yeah, definitely um, have a working arm, I promise. But, um, you know, it's working enough. Uh, you know. This is mermaid's mead. Yes. No, no, no. Sorry, I'm, I'm you know, this one's in blue. The, in it was a long walk back. And I'm sort of that might be the good stuff. Not in the uh. Like, it's blue. He doesn't in the barrels. Things are hard to talk so about. So you were one of the ones on the hard. mission or whatever. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that does make quite a lot of sense. Yeah. Um. Yeah. There were How does that seven. Count? Sometimes you can drink them too. It was a success, I guess. Yeah, we thought of like, you know, scribbling on we got the relic and we killed Bedlam, so. Grand scheme of things, yes, that was what we were oh, yeah. there to do. Uh, do you want me to? Well, on a more lighthearted topic, I, I honestly... what's your favorite drink? All right, game, uh, I, I am probably not going to do a lot of drinking right now. Um, I actually need to try to find and talk to a couple of people uh, before you know the end of the day. I'm hoping to 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 locate them. Um, but uh, potentially later, I will be happy to enjoy some alcohol. Otherwise, uh, I will, um, you know. Drink with you next time. Really. Alright then. Don't let me keep you. Okay. See you later. Can I explain it was nice myself to the top of that list of talking people? I do have a question. Oh, hi. Yes. Have you ever been hunted? Hi. Um, so, passing off that thing to the mayor, he's gonna go ahead and look over those letters that are gonna need to be, look, you know, signed yeah. off on. To so catch you up exactly on what they are, it is so that way we can get produce fine. and materials brought back to the town oh, so and get that things moving. <laughs> Secondly, I'm getting the impression that you're an inventor, someone that skills along the lines of uh, creation and especially innovation. I like your hat. Is that a question? Yes, sort of. I mean, I I, I dabble like I'm not as good as you know like a proper proper inventor, but I, I like I I made my hammer. Oh, it's a damn good hammer. How would this feel? And I understand maybe right now it's not a great time. I'm picking up on some pretty heavy feelings from you. So what I'd like to suggest, whenever you're ready for it, if you want to, come join the Adventures Guild at the, uh, at the town so is uh, hoping to start getting up and going into these specific. They will have funding from, um, you know, higher up. And there's going to be, like, means to try and give you guys space and time and resources to start building, and you'll be paid for it. If you're interested in joining, that off out there for you. We have a group already uh, kind of gathered together, so we, so we can start making moves with that. It'll be mainly right now focused on repairing the town as effectively and innovatively as possible. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy to help with repairs any, any way that I can, and, you know, I always do like making things. I don't have, like... A lot of fair. projects. I have one project right now. I'm going to make wings. It's going to be great. I'm going to be able to fly. Oh, perfect. But, um... How do you feel about having a workshop? Like a space specifically for building and creating? It would certainly be better than, like, the tables in my bedroom. 
But um, you know, it's it's not a big priority if if, if like there's other things that need to get fixed because the whole town is you know a little bit was a bit on fire. So you know, grand scheme of things. Um, let me know if there's things that I can do to help with that, and then uh, we can we can figure out like once once there's food and places to people for people to live and stuff, then uh, then we can figure it out. That sounds good to me. I'll keep in touch. I won't keep you. You have yourself a good day. You too. Learn how to do it the hard way. Keep up appearance. Maybe and Flora go to bed? Maybe they did. They were kind of like, you know, pretty beat up. Melody, especially. I mean, she. She's alive. Right now, technically. But, you know. <laughs> Regarding the blushy mode, um. Maybe I'll have a chance to use it. People were, like, super heavily shipping, uh, Ginny and Edward when he was new. Um. But alas, Sophie, uh, Sophie can't be in the, the role play anymore because of school, so, uh. And now Edward is dead. In fact, these two are not here. Do a real quick check, because Mossa's missing as well, so they might be together, but... Oh, they are. Okay. They might all be in a bedroom, Cassandra is also missing. That's fine. I'll look around. When I don't find them, I'll move on to other things. Because Gale exists, but, you know, he's... Ginny doesn't really know what to make of Gale most of the time. He's kind of fine, but he's also, like, kind of weird about things sometimes. Um. He is very super dead. As a note, by the way, my out-of-character understanding is loosely that Ginny is wrong about Edward. I don't have any confirmation one way or the other. Um, but having, like, thought about things after last session, um, it became rapidly apparent to me when I was doing, like, a tier list that uh, Ginny is probably super fucking wrong about Edward and that he was da there to, like, confront Bedlam or something. Um, and so, uh... But because I, in session, um, didn't have enough information and, and the information that I did have, like, I internalized differently. That's why Ginny is, uh, was so, like, angry.
hand? Could you not? I'll stay a little bit. I'm not going to stay very long if they're going to keep talking to each other, though, so... Um... What? Just waiting. Wait, hi. Waiting for what? Uh, you and Melody mostly. Though I suspect more you than Melody. Well, I'm here now. Are you okay to chat? I don't want to pull you away from them if you're like talking with your friends and stuff. I figured if you were going to be talking for a while, I'll Please just leave and find don't you later. Pull me away, like right now. Pull okay. me away. It's awkward as fuck. Everything all right? I sent that kind of kiss me. He flown to my south to get our eyes out of him, and now he's healthy. You and Cassandra are a thing? And I don't fuck. News to me? She's just fucking with him, or like what? I don't know. It's... I don't know. I don't- I don't know if she has feelings for me and she's like using this as an excuse to kiss me. I don't know if she did it just to get her eyes out of me, but like... Well, um... Congratulations, I suppose? Maybe? Sort of? I don't know. How, how do we feel about this? Confused. Confused. Like, Got it. I was technically my first kiss. Oh. No, it was not. My first kiss was stolen by someone else that I hate. Oh. Well, that's not great. Oh, what? Uh, but so did not react when she kissed me. He just said I'm gonna leave it to alone, and... I'm not sure. He's not necessarily the greatest at, like, the, you know, externalizing his emotions in a healthy way, I don't think so. You know, it's possible that he's totally okay with it. It's also possible that he's about to be self-destructive in a very dramatic way very soon. Oh. I already have to deal with a broken arm. I don't need this. But what did you need, Jimmy? Is it okay if we talk about the... about the veil? Go ahead. I keep trying to come up with. I've been really angry at Edward. We're going back for, I guess for like betraying me, betraying us. Well, we don't know that. Like, we know that men cannot talk. That's... It's kind of what I'm trying to figure out, you know? Like, so... When we had gone, you know, when, when, when we were there with Bedlam fighting, he had the, the artifact and he could do that thing with the purple and the... And, like, compel me, compel us, I guess, to do things. Um, he gave his first order, which was just a bow, you know, to show us that he was better, I guess. I don't know, whatever. But um, maybe just to show us that he could. But uh, it looked like he had used it again later. Um, do you know what that command was? What he said? No. Um, 
Do you remember if he said anything else about Edward? I, I know he did. I know he had said something, but I was... Well, it was still... What he said was probably to get our eyes out of all of us. He called him a traitor, said he came begging on his knees to rejoin the bandit gang. I asked Wolfric after, um, you know, after you had helped me, and uh, I asked whether he thought that the effluvium could have made him come back, you know, my home. I had hoped that maybe that was why, you know? Because all of them were so, so confident in, in all of the bandits the whole time. They were so confident in Bedlam, you know, like they were so sure that we were just going to be absolutely destroyed by him and everything. You know, I thought maybe, even when they had been here, they thought so. So I, I thought maybe it was, you know, lasted, that it would last long enough. But Wolfric said that it wouldn't, but I, um... I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what to think, you know? It is a lot. What are you the process? Not yeah. sure if you were friends with him or not. But. I know a lot of people are sure that you two were best friends, but I know it's that. I... That's complicated. Maybe I would have liked to be, you know, but... The things that I saw in him, they're not because he was my friend, you know. The things I thought I saw in him. Now I'm less sure, right? But... But after he was sort of free to roam, you know, and like in the early days of the stabbing game and, and things, he had started being kind of like... I guess part of his... Part of his other side, you know, was sort of showing through a little bit and that was... When he, when they went on the scouting mission, you know, he had, uh, he knew which way was the right way to go. There was a tree and, and that was the, the tree that, you know, you go left and direct past that, that third camp basically and then you go right and it's a, a, apparently a longer way around and that it's more dangerous or whatever and he had told me that the left path was the right like was the correct choice you know but from what i heard when 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 they went on the mission he had, he he tried to get them to go right and i didn't i didn't get a chance to ask him about it you know but there was another time he, um, after he had come back, you know, I don't, I don't remember what it was. Something from the game, but he, oh, right. One of the dust bunnies had told me that he was planning to try to stab me. And when I sort of like pointed it out to him, he, he denied it, and so he was lying to me as well. Maybe. Probably. I don't know. And I guess it's the word of a dust bunny, but... So I don't... I don't... I believed in him, but he wasn't my friend. Yes, I understand. 
with me. If you are trying to get answers out of a dead man's sword, do you want my true opinion on this? I think that the off things that was happening with him and him doing such things with him was also his way of defending himself. I defend him on the trial because I understood his position. Maybe he was trying to in a way defend himself from getting close to you perhaps caring about you maybe he didn't fully trust you also or perhaps he wanted to always go back there something deep inside of me says that he did not go there to betray us so he had nothing to win from rejoining since day one, all the other bandits said that even if they were captured and came back from escaping, they would be killed. Their leader was not someone forgive and forget. Edward most likely knew this. There's no way he would have come back just to be killed by the leader for some bullshit redemption from his bandit guild. But why would he go back alone? Why wouldn't he tell us? Why wouldn't Not he tell sure. me? Perhaps he didn't feel like he should do this with other people. Some sense of dumb honor. Some dumb sense of needing to prove himself to himself. Perhaps he didn't trust us completely. Maybe. There's many options. Maybe you're right. We'll never really know, I guess. There yeah. was no reason for him to go back there to rejoin. At least that's my logical thinking. But we will never know. Was I right to defend him? Did you fully, truly, in your heart, want it to? It's not about whether I wanted to. It's about whether I was right. Or whether I was just being stupid and idealistic and foolish and putting other people at risk, you know? No. You were not being foolish, dear. Because not for a second you said that he was a changed man. You believe in the possibility for him to change. That is not foolish. Do you think people change? If anything, those that wanted to... Yes, I did. All this and tried to. Be hypocritical of us, the wardens, to think no one changes, wouldn't it? Well, maybe. I mean, not maybe, dear. We would. I used to be abandoned. No other choice. It was either that or prostitution. I had a... I had a brother to feed. I had people to take care of. That's why I saw myself in Edward. That's why I tried to talk to the bandits. 
not everyone has the luxury of choice of mortal. If any fool say that they would starve and die and kill or steal to survive, I may be cruel to say, but then they are the fools. Life is a precious thing. No matter what, you want to protect it. Sometimes by any means necessary, even if it's not right. I hate that we had to kill so many of them. Me too. I tried to just knock them out. It doesn't feel right, does it? They were young and they were doing something that was, well, their only choice or that they'd been brainwashed into or... I don't think that killing them or choosing to kill someone is right. It's selfish. But I understand that we don't have options sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that any of them... I think we killed about as few of them as we could. They wouldn't... Maybe, but... Right. Do you think you're a bad person now? Do you think you're dumb? I don't think I'm a bad person, but but maybe I was being a fool, you know? No. You were not. I won't say you were being a saint or an angel or a good person just for wanting to do that. I'll say you were being yourself. It would be illogical. I mean, it is more logical to think that someone can change than be a coward that like only wants to win as someone's life just for your own sake. We all choose. We choose where to stand. We can't win every battle in the world, you know. We can't fight every battle. But how, who we are, I guess. I've always felt it's like... We choose where to stand. Because everyone picks a side, you know, in the end. Yes. And I've always tried to stand... between I guess bad people and the people that they want to hurt you know I just I just wish I knew if I'd been right I'll never know I tried to get answers in the veil and I don't know Maybe it just showed me what I wanted to see, you know. Don't trust the veil, darling. It's a liar.
Some people become obsessed with what they see there. And something gets you. Maybe you're right. It's what everyone else seems to say. Which time you'll I won't say that you'll find the answers to your questions. But perhaps you will find comfort in your decisions. I hope so. I know so. Thank you, Flora. You're welcome. Is Melody okay? He's fine. The only crystal that we were not able to take out is the one on her neck. Too risky. We need someone that actually knows what they're doing with their hands to take it off. Did it happen because of her... Whatever was going on? We're not sure. We're not sure. Melody seems to think it's a malfunction of the weapon itself since it was a rushed job. Even if the blueprint was perfect, if the construction of it was rushed, most likely they overlooked the step. Would also be that one of the bandits knocked it off and broke something inside of it. Could have been an excess of mana. Could have been the crystal was damaged itself. We'll never know. Too many factors. Yeah, I guess so. A lot of things we'll never get the answer to there. Like, what the hell was I all that orange stuff? That. <laughs> I know one thing that I'm gonna do, that I'm gonna go back there and steal some of that fucking gold. I want my sewing machine. Do you yeah. know how much it's gonna cost for me to have my sewing machine? I have no idea. I don't know what sewing machines cost. 20 gold. That's a lot. It is. We should go take some of the gold. It was all right there. I mean, like... Yes, I am going... Like, if they said that we shouldn't take it because it may have been a dragon's horde, but the only dragon we saw there is the one that is fucking dead. So, like, you know? Well, so, like, the odds that none of the bandits took any of the gold the whole time they were there is pretty slim, right? So, like, if the bandits were taking gold and, you know, using it to buy, I guess, more bandits. I, I don't know what bandits buy, but, but you, you know, like, whatever. They were spending the money, so presumably they were taking it from there, and no dragon came and showed up and ate them. Or they won, and they killed it, and it's rotting somewhere. Like, but me and Cassandra are, like, planning to go there if you want to enjoy it. Because, like, we're pretty sure that, like, the dragon, like, the dragon kingdom, like, stuff, that we'll hear that, like, now that the bandits are taken down, we'll come take the gold, confiscate it. So we better hurry up and, like, you know, grab some of that, like, good shit, and then leave before, like, the kingdom comes. Well, uh, I mean, if you're planning a trip, I'm happy to, like, make it. You know, I and go along. I'm not going to be able to carry like nearly as much gold as you, probably, but like I can carry some. And we'll, then I'll then I'll use it, and I can. Yeah. Um, yeah. If, if anything, we'll go also there to try to grab some of the dragons, like bone scrap for potion making, since it's you know already dead, and it's a lot of bone. I don't know anything about potions, really. I don't. Is, is that a good like ingredient or something? Probably is, but probably is very, like, you know, illegal or, like, morally conflicting for people to use it, but Cassandra will literally pass stuff on me, so I don't think she cares. 
Well, you know, I mean... The exact letter of the law there, uh, whatever. I don't care, really, I'm, mostly. I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm the best person to talk about law stuff. I think, in a lot of ways, we have to decide what we feel is right and wrong, you know? Well, I feel that, like, you know, messing with bodies is morally okay if you're gonna use it for something like potion making that could help. Like, for example, if I die, I want people to take my horns and make weapons with it, like, I would be fine with that, you know? Is that a, like, Defleos thing, or is that just, like, a Flora thing? Because that seems kind of weird oh, to me, but... Uh... In our culture, when someone passes away, uh, we usually cut up their horns and make jewelry or weapons and give it to those that were close to the deceased as a way to remember them and still have them in their daily routine. I see. Well, um, ideally try not to die, but if you die on a mission and I'm there, then I'll make sure that we get your horns. Thank you. You know, that is actually a very sweet custom that we do. At least my mother taught me. Usually if your spouse or loved one romantically died, um... We'll make a ring basis out of the horn and use a black stone as the jewel to symbolize that you are a widow. We usually decorate on our horns. Interesting. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen, you know, individuals with 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 various rings and stuff on 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 the horns, but I've never like known anything about them. What? Well, Symbolizes a lot of stuff. Usually gold means that they're married, and if it has jewels on it. Um, silver usually means that they are... Um, means they are close to someone platonically. And, you know, if it has a black stone, usually means that they're mourning. Or that they lost someone close to them. Let's see. I don't know much about it, though. I know what my mother told me, so maybe right, maybe wrong. I wasn't really raised by my own kind. I want to one day return to where my people come from. Well, then that's a good goal, and I'm... Especially if you steal all the gold from the dragon's hoard, then you can definitely afford to go and live with your people. Yes. Is it really stealing if the owners are dead and the bandits that took it over is dead? I feel like that's not stealing. That's probably not stealing. It's not stealing, otherwise museums wouldn't exist, would it? I haven't been to a lot of museums, so I don't really know. What is a museum if not fancy people stealing stuff from dead people, huh? No, that actually does sound about right. I mean... Museum is like, like, you know, tomb robbery with extra stuff and legal. So, like, what we are doing technically can be qualified as scientific if we are smart about it. Sounds fair enough to me. I'm not really convinced, but, you know, it's... Excuse. It's like... It, <laughs> who's getting hurt if we take it, you know? I feel like the Drakaya Kingdoms. Hurt. We deserve that shit. Exactly. We well, like, that. yeah. I mean, like, and what is the Drakaya Kingdom going to do with that? Like, even if we took as much gold as we could carry back and forth in a week, they wouldn't even notice that anything was gone. Like, there was enough of a fortune there to live one's entire life in, you know, like richness. Like, richness. All we have to do is not tell Flynn or Nishka. Then we'd be good. You think they're gonna like? Be upset about it? I feel like they're probably not going to care that much. I mean, Feline probably will that like she's a bitch. Maybe. Hi, Mayor. Hello. Hi. 
Hello, how's it? How are you all? How's... Are you drinking your tea? Uh, is it a time of tea? I'm not entirely drunk, I promise. Or, or dr I'm not drunk. That is... I need a drink. I needed a drink. It was a really rough day. Not rough, but just a lot. Anywho, I was told by a, a good person... I don't know how to really word it. Miss Janine, do you have time to talk, possibly? When, when, you, when, if you're, if you're busy right now, I can speak with you later. I can, I can, I can go chat with you. It's fine. Just talking. It was good talking to you, Flora. I'll go oh. back into the town. Oh. Welcome to Tutu. Well, um, oh, okay. Um, well, you do take care. Again, sorry to interrupt your conversation. I certainly am. Yeah, we're uh, just do, do, do. discussing some stuff. That, honestly, I don't think we were going nowhere with the like, discussion. I don't think we will ever find a conclusion to that. Goodbye, me. Fair enough. Yeah. I, uh... I talk a lot. It can just go in circles sometimes, and it's not really all the most productive. Anyways, how can I help you? I absolutely understand. Um, I was uh, told to speak to you about a uh, what is it? Um, the uh, the, the bed the bedlam situation. Um, uh, could you uh, possibly? Yeah, uh, could you relay what I guess your 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 um point of view on that situation was? I was <sighs> curious to know. My recounting right. of events or of the results? Um, of, of the events would be fine. Whatever you're comfortable with uh, sharing. We, um... Uh, it's down for now. Well, we got to the Vale and uh, started to make our way through, and it was basically exactly what the, the other team had, had said in the reports and stuff, and... Um, one camp mm. of bandits got taken out by one of the Ursaquads, which was too bad because they're all dead but you know we didn't have to do it so that was good um but uh yeah so we proceeded through the next camp we managed to take them prisoner and lock them in their cages um you know i don't know if we i don't think we had to kill anyone there that was good um and then we uh went down uh and got across the bridge by luring away another ursa quad Apparently, there's just a bunch of those in the area. So, if anyone from the town is ever talking about going in there, yes, like if the stuff just... starts to get better, uh, don't. Oh, um, I, I horribly, I horribly dis uh, disapprove of any of us. Yeah, you know. So, certainly. Um. So yeah, and then we went, and there were some uh, like one more camp of bandits, and we made our way finally into the big sort of, I guess their home or their home base or whatever. Um. Mm -hmm. So we fought through there, and we found a like secret entrance in the back door, basically, and we snuck through there and took out a bunch of them, and then locked a bunch of them in their barracks because they were still like sleeping, despite the fact that we had been fighting like thirty feet away. So that was weird. Um, probably something to do with the the yeah. artifact or whatever. Uh, and then we finally made it to the whole building was some sort of like palace. I think is probably the word. Like it had a big throne room great hall thing in the back that was full of you know there's supposition that it maybe was like a dragon's horde at some point which given that there was like dragon bones outside in the camp probably that makes some sense Ooh, um I, I, am i okay nishiko would be the person to ask there because she's, 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 she's in she's she's in she's in she's 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 an anthropologist but um I don't know, she, she knows dragon mm. things, I think. Um, so, you know, that was basically that. And we finally got to the throne room. And then they had, like, his last... So Bedlam had his last sort of squad of, of people there. And and and, um, and then he was in there. And uh, and so we, 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 we mostly started fighting with his guys. And then finally confronted Bedlam. Um, and, and Edward was there, um, dead, uh, before we got there. Um. Oh, I, I, uh, I see. Yeah, Bedlam. I heard of uh, Sir Edward in some writing, but um, it's unfortunate. But please continue. Um, Bedlam uh, had the artifact, and it it, it let him do this like thing mm. where everyone near him, um, was like forced to obey him. I guess I don't. Know. He told us to bow, and I couldn't Did help he? myself from doing it. Hmm? I will uh, extend to my point, I suppose, if, if it's the matter that I uh, wish to see. Do you believe... Do you believe it... Uh, 
Should he have died? Should he have... Do you think it was his place time to cease to exist? I understand if, uh, if your feelings on the matter were, were, were to be that he should have, if, uh, if it just, just happened, happened, I understand all of that, but for my morality on the situation, I was going to be someone in taking peaceful resolution, and if not that, some form of redemption or, or, or severance. For a person who has committed uh, acts of villainy. And I must say that I deeply regret that we were not able to see that possible reformation out of Bedlam. And no one is perfect. I do not blame that man. I do not blame you or anyone else of the guild. But it, uh, it is the cause that we are dealt. I wanted to know, at least personally, how you felt. It would have been better if we could have taken him alive, you know. I don't want to shed blood that we don't have to, but it was my fault that we couldn't. I, um... How was it your, your fault? When he was sort of in the last moments of, of it, I... I just started going after him with the hammer because of Edward and because of all of it and I was in pain and the, the like his his command you know and so I wasn't making the best decisions mostly and I, I, I started trying to just I was trying to kill him but I, I, I my arm was broken and I couldn't I just didn't I didn't have enough in me to get there. But he grabbed me yeah. and, and, and hit me. Um, and I, 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 I feel like probably if... Uh, it's hard to remember. I, I think I was concussed. Um, but, but, but... Uh, it's, it's all right if you can't. Wolfric, um, I think Wolfric killed him then. Um, I don't know if he had my hammer or, 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 I don't know. But he could have killed me right then, I suppose. For protecting, so. right, for protecting someone else's life on, on the line or ensuring the safety of your, your fellow man. That I, I understand. I just... I've only heard of the situation as uh, we've killed him. He's gone. The you know, your problem is saved, and I. But well, of course, I'm I'm eternally grateful for what you have all done. But I, I uh... the 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 act of justice, the 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 ways of preserving order and tranquility. It is not through means of brutality. To accepting faults and seeking growth. At least that's what I believe. There are times, I think, when violence is unavoidable. You know, when there's no options, right? It's going to be... The people that are right aren't always the people with strength. And when that happens, mm. then... Some bloodshed is, I think, inevitable, but I... I wish we hadn't I, needed to kill so many of them. I speak from this. Yeah. If I could have, I would have preferred that we walked away having killed none of them, you know? But they wouldn't, yes. they wouldn't surrender. I... So... Again, it is a great service you all did. 
They're just unfortunate families that uh, yeah. will never really have the the problems resolved. Well, the people who remain mis- missing. <sighs> yeah. But as you said, it's uh, some things are unavoidable. And of course, I'm only speaking from uh, the standpoint of someone sitting in a chair, just scratching away at documents. I, I can't really speak on the full experience of it. Or really come to understand what you or anyone else really goes through. But even though it was an unfortunate outcome, you all did very well. And I am strongly grateful, as well as the town of Lee's side, for that. Just, if I may, from what I've gathered of your retelling of the tale, I can tell you have a strong moral compass as well. Be sure to never lose it. Once you shift into that path, straying away from the ideals of the... of... of, of, how would you say? Ideals of redemption. Of growth. Then... I believe things begin to fall colder. My uncle, you know, God rest his soul, he was a Drakaian knight. He was actually a very big inspiration for me when I was young, uh, to become one. Um, he, uh, he always came home with gleaming medals and sounds and tales of glory slaying this and that and the other and being the young knight when I was I I enjoyed every second of it but uh, you know he, he some of the times I, I I'd catch him away from everyone drifting looking into just an empty space and it was always pain in his eyes well not pain but sorrow or fear or whatever it was it was just a look that I could never describe and I feel that came from only those times that he had to take a life into his hands always been told that it is an unforgettable sight yeah mm. being okay with it it's it's damaging but sometimes necessary I hope I I don't bore you with this uh, it's fine uh, tale (laughs) I uh, I just wanted to mix a momentary connection it was good to chat with you Thank you. You as well. Now then, I am going to finish my night with a bottle of very strong ale that is horrible for my throat, but it soothes the massive amounts of paperwork I have to do. So, I will leave you to your night. Um, Please be sure to take care. (laughs) I have so much work to do. (laughs) And as soon as you know where you want the letters to go and what you need from them, let me know, and I'll, 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 I'll take them, take them to the villages. Oh yes, of course, of course. I am just uh, currently waiting on uh, uh, my, uh, my last stamp. So once I have received that, then I can begin enveloping the letters, gotcha. and I'll be sure to uh, bring them to your attention. It'll probably be within the, the next uh, few hours or so. Okay. You all are very inspirational. Somehow you have a band of just so many different people and yet are able to come together to complete tasks most people can't do achieve. It's very admirable. Very much so. We all choose where to stand. 
I just wish I knew. I wish I could convince myself that I had picked the right side. <sighs> Come on, Jenny. Hold it together just a little longer. Fall apart. <sighs> Not with that captain in our room, I guess we can. Maybe I'll sleep somewhere else tonight. Or try. wish I knew whether I was doing the right thing. How do I know? How do I... Don't let yourself get in your own head, Ginny. Who do we trust? Who do we respect? Well, the mayor... The diplomat or no. I mean, he seems like he is... Reasonably good head on his shoulders, so. Well, at least worth considering. And Anna is. It's been so long since I had a proper friend. I really hope I don't have to leave. <laughs> this is actually important. This is actually important. I'm glad we okay, no, no, no. So, so this is actually important. As as a as an owl kin, uh, just to let you know, Masao has been having feelings of actually devouring um, another guild member who is a fish. As a bird, you should, you should you should be very careful if he has like a bucket of barbecue sauce nearby. Like I would uh. No, he definitely like seems to be more attracted towards the fish. Oh, wait. Okay. Oh, no, I really. You're not. Oh, he's not a chicken. Oh, no, I, I would like one. Well, well, to uh, watch over my room tonight. So birds, we just we don't taste special. like chicken. <laughs> well, okay, I can just. just... Do I always taste like chicken? Okay. I've never eaten an owl. Uh, we'll make sure you're okay. okay. I've never eaten an owl either. I do not drink vegetables. Maybe a rooftop fellow port is a good idea. I think I would Probably. taste warm. I don't think he tastes good either. How do you taste the rooftop, sir? My shepherd can don't taste like chicken. Just get that out of your head. No, I have to taste the wine. I don't think I have a warm food. Don't taste like chicken. Well, human flesh tastes like chicken. I don't know. Oh, so I'm told. Oh, so I'm told. Even for the next Maybe if he had. What? I ripped out a man's throat with my teeth. Okay, that does it. Yeah, that'll do it. Leave it be, Jimmy. Leave it be. Exactly. No, it wasn't. What wasn't wasn't cut? No, I don't believe I was. I was like, I was like, it's just a question. It's just a She's stupid and she's just trying to be vile on purpose. What a different who has a thing to say. Is there anyone in particular that you want us to look out for? I haven't. That sounds very vile. Seconds. Uh, are you okay? Yeah, it's, 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 I'm, I'm afraid there's no way you could raise your hand. I'm I am so sure you can cover the blood of your I'm, enemies I'm, and have some of it drift into your mouth. Okay. I don't need that. That's fair. That's that's fair. All right. Yeah, I mean, by accident. Yeah, right. You. I mean, maybe was, you should take get some rest. Semi kind of mind controlled ish at the time. So we'll make sure you're okay for the next. 
Thank you. Well, this I is when you try and kill the other, uh, kill, uh, uh, what's the name? Baleen. I'm gonna see if you to drink some water as well. Yeah. No. Okay. It was when you tried to kill someone else. Who did you try to kill? I oh, okay, you tried to kill someone. I don't think I ever tried to kill Will or anybody. I'm thinking of Massau. Never mind. Yeah, Massau tried to kill Massau wants to. Yeah, all the way around. Yes, 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 exactly. Same time period, though, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get it. Okay. They have a history <laughs> and a, they all went to school oh, together. I'm so sorry, I'll give you an excuse to for your trouble. Yeah. Oh, no, no I thought I could quite alright. Right. Several yeah. months ago. It sounds like a not very good school. I think people died and everything. I have no idea. Yeah. yeah. Is it? That was the Why same. You guys went on. I know. <laughs> It's, it's it's okay, you guys okay, went on a mission and they got fucked up real bad. They killed them. Yeah. They did really good. They okay. killed them really good. Oh, well, if, if you excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, I'll kiss my roommate goodnight and then I'll tire tonight. Oh my god, they were roommates. Come on. Oh my god, they were roommates. Oh my god, they were roommates. Come on, I'm giving you a choice here. I can gladly walk away if you like me to. I'll turn around. Oh, the forehead. Oh, the forehead this time, okay? Very well. <laughs> Good night. I think. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, Good night Cassandra. Good night. Take care. Good night. I don't know where this is coming from, okay? I don't know when. <laughs> so I never started kissing. What the fuck? Laura, I think she likes you. She does. Oh my god, <laughs> And Flora, you call yourself ugly and like... There's so many people. Like, like apparently, but they... Okay! Stop hey, it! Stop hey, doing it! Hey. I was Go being that nice! Way. <laughs> There you go. No, stop it! <laughs> it's very effective. I usually use this for my plants, but holy shit. It has many purposes. It's nighttime, it's cold, what the hell? <laughs> ah, I need something to eat. In the long term, I'll probably build myself a hidey hole somewhere on the map. Um, but, uh, Jenny's not going to be doing a lot of hammering with her right arm for a while. And if she needs anything, you can find Fabian. You don't have to. You can stay on all sorts of cool enough. You can hang around here more often. This is Flora. You can. What if what if your girlfriend sees you, Flora? <laughs> You're gonna break our heart! Does anyone else see... Pretty, I don't have a fucking girlfriend now, do I? We were told you were making out yeah, naked in the, in, on the beach. Yes. Yeah, the fuck? I will have a bikini on. Alright. Well, someone's telling tall tales. What, like why are you looking semi. at me like that? I'm just, I just, I don't know what the fuck's going on over here. Good night. I, 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 I what the hell? I'll give you a hug. That's fine. Okay. Just a little longer, Jake. You as well. Enjoy your night. Okay. Good night. You fucked. Nice hug. <laughs> yes, we nice are. height. <laughs> Perfect. Mm hmm. What, buddy? Caretaker that didn't end up being a much too a much of a good influence for us. When properly trained and you know they're handed the game, they're kind of like uh, service animals, like uh, hunting dogs and stuff like that. They can be really useful. Well, thank I am. I feel like a lot of people are confused about what's going on right now. Yeah, I forgot that. Would I haven't done this you in front like of anyone before. Would drink, sir? Oh, hi. Uh, that'd be real nice. I'm in Drakai right now, though, so I'm gonna have to pass for now. What's going on? I I'm confused. It's a little trick I've Some sort used of magic? once before. Yeah, something like that. I'm using it just so that way I can make sure that everyone got home safe. 
So far, it looks like uh, the numbers are pretty good. I still got to see people that floor and stuff like that. They do right. one. Is that you, Gilmasa? Yeah, that'll be well. It is, yeah. Well, pleasure. What the fuck is going on? I hope you're all right. This is apparently Wolfric? I don't know. Well, Wolf. you it's have Gilmaster. plenty of people to talk it to. It purports so to be? I will let you what? get to that, but, um, hi. Captain Talia Brown. I don't know who's that. I don't either. Pleasure. We'll, uh, gotcha. probably introduce when I actually get home. It's a spell of some kind. He's cool. communicating from far away. Yeah, but like, oh, okay. Like, light? Like, light? I don't, I don't know. Who like like fucking knows? Look at me. Okay, I got, enough, I got enough people here. I got enough people yeah, here. Yeah, what's up? So, I am not here right now. I'm in Dekaya. I'm using the magic oh, to talk to y'all. I want to check in make sure everyone got home safe. So far, it seems as if everyone has. Haven't been able to track yes, down the mayor, but I'm going to talk to him too, unless uh, anyone else has already. Plus, uh, oh, for the next few days... He's having an emotional oh, breakdown. Oh god. Uh, this is for him. Really? He's having a god. Mostly. God has a door. He kinda got oh, drunk. I'm afraid my side's gonna eat him. Oh, I uh, see. I never said a goddamn thing. The mayor's Regardless, supposed to be uh, chatting to me we have, like, uh, mostly later. Mostly just uh, relief from the mission. And then what else we got? Oh yeah, that's one. We're gonna be uh, going through retraining of the dust bunnies, getting them back into tip-top shape, which means that we're gonna be uh, running a few exercises and missions over the course of the next few days. It's basically just reintegrating them into, uh, well, what they used to do, field work and other things like that. Teaching them back to uh, how to watch out, survey land, find and retrieve things, distract enemies, uh, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not gonna probably be home for around a few days or so. I gotta talk with uh, most of the officials up here in Drakaya and sort out everything in terms of letting them in with what we did. So uh, until I get back, I'll be communicating like this for the time being. I'll check in in the morning with everyone uh, probably sometime tomorrow. I'm probably going to need a lot of help. Can't really do much of, you know, letting the dust bunnies go or wrangling things or running much in terms of physical stuff, so. Mm -hmm. Regardless, take it easy, guys. The mission mm. was a tough one, I know. People are going to take a little bit of time to recover. Until then, we've got a smat rims of other stuff going on, but honestly, I'm trying my best to make sure that Zog Bell and Joe keep you guys on break before we jump into anything too soon afterwards. I think we still need to uh, get a few things under wraps and closed off before we uh, get back into business. I also got something else I'm working on, but I don't have to wait until I get back. You'll, you'll probably like it. It'll be a secret until then. Mm. Take care of yourself, right. good master. Thank sure you, thing. Sir. Well, you'll have I a good night. I gotta go time. and, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna try. I got one of them, uh, fancy dinner parties I'm supposed to go to, and I'm... Uh, I'm not sure I'm Has prepared. Body. Yeah, too many, uh, 40 folks. I'll probably survive. <laughs> Stay safe until I get back. Steal their food. Steal their food and put it in your pockets. That's what I do. Bring home the breadsticks. Oh, on that dust bunny. Oh no. Breadsticks are great. Thank you. Till then. I've spent like oh, 10 oh, minutes I'm chasing that thing. I have girl. no idea what it was. <laughs> <laughs> That's I don't know how he does that. That's so... What? 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 Huh? Sorry? <clears throat> oh, sorry? You said you needed to talk to the mirror? Oh, no, 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 no. The way 
the mayor's gonna be finding me later. If the if if, if Wilfred had a message for him, I could take it and then give it to him later. But if he'll figure it out tomorrow. Air magic vibrating on one side. Somewhere else. Good night. A tool to help with these. It's sad. Such things truly are miracles. It's just magic, but okay. Just man, just man, just man. Massa and Flora are yeah. having a private moment. If that's what you're uh, spying on. Over there. Not spying so much, just seeing. Well, I think there was a disagreement to Cassandra and. Why are you so close? Massa. You're the one who drifted towards me, I think. I apologize. Uh. Cassandra and uh, 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 Laura. Uh, Flora had a uh, a uh, rendezvous in the water together, and my side witnessed it, and it has set off a kind of love triangle. Yeah, that's the best way to put it. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's not even really a triangle; it's a love say. corner. Mm -hmm. I put it in the nicest way I could possibly Im imagine. Mm. Yeah. I mean, Cassandra was much more crude than I. Very, very. Yeah. Nice. Well, but. Uh... So we've determined that they can't eat things like knives and stuff and explode them out. Perhaps he has a case of being quite sad about it all. I mean, considering the shit that I've so heard you today, to I don't you were feel terrible for, for him. <laughs> no, but, you know, sad. it'll be what it is, I guess. Oh, no, poor baby. Mm -hmm. The person that you like doesn't like you back. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Man, sucks. Oh, no. Sucks it's real hard bad. To pick up woman when you're a psychopath. Damn. A sociopathic monster who actively oh, no. tried to get their allies killed on the battlefield. Yeah. yeah! Yeah! Oh no, the consequences of his actions finally catch up to him in some small way. Fucker. I'm gonna need some, uh, Gale. some context for this one. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. There's a lot. So, There's a lot to uncover. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so... Uh, used to go to a magical academy with him as well as several others who were hanging around here. And we went on a mission to fix a, uh, fire mana region that was fucking up a lot of, uh, people who used fire mana. It was making them very aggressive, angry, um, and just almost feral, uh, which would have been me. Um, and during the battle, I... You know, ripped out somebody's throat with my bare teeth. I was extremely aggressive towards their enemies. And he wandered up to me after I had just gotten up from being injured and healed and taken care of. And he kept trying to push me to go further and further. Uh, and to uh, basically goaded me into rushing enemies that nearly killed me. And that's why I hate Masao. Wow, you talk about biting people's throats out with quite a casual nature. That's what all the alcohol's for, yeah. Trauma! PTSD! Pog. Given that we killed a few dozen bandits a couple days ago. Like it's relative. Well, yeah, Masao also on the scouting mission was just like... I was assigned leader of that mission because I'm a scout by nature. It's kind of what I'm good at. And uh, his response to everything was, I'm going to go kill it right now, even though we're supposed to scout and not bring attention to ourselves. Um, nearly got me killed multiple times. I almost did get killed. I had to... I got stabbed through, barely healed, had to cauterize my own wound with my magic and a knife. 
And his response to all this was, You're bad. Get good. Give better directions next time. I see. Yeah. Yeah, so keep an eye out for him. You know, back in the ship, that's the kind of person that we throw overboard. Oh, absolutely. It was like his absolutely. one of his first days here, and he already, like, one of his first days here, he assaulted someone? Yep. Like I said, he just gets away with this shit. Never any consequences. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Okay. Go. You have a few minutes before you're gonna go to bed. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll pull you aside then. Alright, after you. So. I've been thinking a lot since on the way back and I don't know trying to piece things together mm -hmm. I Bedlam he had ordered us to bow um and I think he gave more orders later. I, I know that I heard something, but I can't. I can't remember. I can't remember a lot of things clearly after you know, after I got hit. But before I got hit, re related to me getting hit. Um, <laughs> you know what it was. I don't know. The it was all really chaotic, and so the only things that I remember when it comes to the getting orders was him uh, telling us to bow, which I did, and then he told me to attack, and I turned around, I started charging my magic, and used that opportunity to got me so, honestly him stabbing me probably stopped me from blasting everybody was attack the word he used I don't remember it was just this it wasn't even so much the words, but the... The meaning behind it was just... Kill, hurt, kill, attack, and I just... I don't know. I... Destroy. I don't remember his exact wording. Destroy. That was it. Destroy. I, um, I don't know if anyone else got caught by the, the bow command in the same way, but, but it was hard to think. Um, you remember if you said anything about Edward? I think he did, but I... I, I Okay. I didn't catch it. Sorry. It's fine. I'm just trying to, like I said, piece things together. Yeah. I've honestly been trying not to think about it too much. The 
been searching for a reason that he, uh... <laughs> I've been hoping, I guess, that it was anything other than just that he went back to the bandits. Mm. But we'll really never know. Probably, maybe, I don't know. <sighs> Everyone that knew was dead, so... If it gives you any kind of solace, even though he did go back, the fact that he was killed might mean something. If it helps, it might mean he was and tried to fight back, maybe. Men like him don't throw away tools so easily. Maybe, but it certainly sets an example. Like you said, we'll never know. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. I don't, I won't keep you anymore. I just, just trying to remember. Thank you. Are um, you going to be okay? I'll be fine. Just need some rest, I think. All right. I don't know if it means much, but do you ever feel like talking about things? Honestly, well, Nishka would probably be somebody better to talk to than me, <laughs> to be entirely honest, but the offer is still there. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no problem. And if I don't see you again, uh, morning. Have a good night. Have a good night. What do I know? Destroy. Destroy. Was I close enough? <laughs> Maybe. Did I see Gale get hit? Was that later? Was that when I was fighting? it was okay
destroy. Who wants to even tell me what I want to hear? Maybe it's... Think. It's so hard to think. Destroy. Did I actually, was I actually compelled to bow, or was that just me? Felt real, but... Seemed different than with Bedlam. Maybe, maybe? Like an echo? I don't... Destroy, though. What if it knew? Oh, this is supposed to be right. He had a dagger in his hand. Was there blood on that? Was there blood on the pillar. I don't remember. What were his injuries? I think they must have been from must have been from Bedlam's sword. Didn't have his so did he leave his stupid, stupid didn't even think to check. Didn't even think to look whether the sword is still in the room. It's still there. He went with a dagger. Why? What's a dagger good for? Well, he could put it in his sleeve. Which means it's easy to get to. He's careful. Maybe it can be hidden there. So he goes with a dagger. If he's rejoining the bandits, why not bring a sword? 
because I would have asked him where he was taking it? No, he he, had, he would have had plenty. He had plenty of opportunity to... He had plenty of opportunity to have gotten it from the room when I wasn't there. Be easy. Trivial. He could have done it before I woke up. Wait until I'm asleep at night and sneak it away. I don't even, I don't even know if it's still in there. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not there. But if it is... Why would he rejoin the bandits without it? He cared about it. He cared about it enough to want me to have it. If he died. If he was executed. He told me... Told me, what did he say? That I should do distasteful things with it. Maybe he meant executing him? I don't, I don't know. I mean, I offered... So he brought his knife. He brought his dagger. He went to meet Bedlam. What? <sighs> Maybe he had been disarmed already. Maybe a hidden dagger was all he had left. He had it. They wouldn't have. Even I can search someone well enough to get the hidden dagger. If I was stripping them from weapons. If I thought he came unarmed. Then I might let him through. He's missing an arm. What's he going to do? Missing an arm. Lost an eye. Yeah. Okay. You get through. You get a meeting with the boss man. You try to kill him? No. Can't be. Wouldn't work. I couldn't even move when he told me to bow. And Edward would know that. He would know... What, he would know that Bedlam could stop him if he tried to kill him. So maybe not trying to kill him then? But there's no reason to think he wasn't going on the mission. And he went on the scouting mission and they knew... Someone said that they knew... He was a traitor. Yeah, because they would have seen him and not all, they didn't kill everybody. So they knew for sure that Edward was a traitor. A traitor. If I am them, do I use that word? Maybe. He betrayed them. He joined with us. He went with us. And some of them knew that he was there. Probably. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I could ask Anna. I'll ask Anna. They knew. Then if he's going to go, he has to know that he's a traitor. And if Bedlam thinks he's a traitor, what does he do? Well, I don't know, commands him to walk off a bridge, fall into the ravine, maybe. But it's probably not pretty. Maybe he goes back with some agenda. Why? Why? 
What did it say? What did it say? His last words were. Bedlam said he was a traitor. What was it? He said something, something about... Something about us. Something about, something about, something about... Oh. Thank you, Jenny. What did he say? Come on, you listen. You do one thing, you listen. What did he say? Did he lump us together with Edward? Did he say that he betrayed us just like he betrayed Edward? Was that what Flora meant? Was it Flora? It must have been Flora. Okay, so. One of those, maybe. I think. Are you? That artifact, it let Bedlam do what command? But it's more than that. more than just command it made me want it made me want to obey and there it made me want to Bow. But why do both? Because that's what Bedlam made it? Because that's what it made Bedlam? How does that feel? Maybe, 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 what if? It has to know. Maybe, no, it can just be, I didn't hear those words. I don't think, maybe I did, maybe I made them up. It showed me what I wanted. Bedlam wants to lead. I wanted answers. I wanted to know why. Destroy. Okay, a couple of options. One, the smoke is alive. Not a great option. Especially...
Option one. The smoke is alive. What does that mean? It means the smoke wants to change things? Wants to coerce? Wants to have a leader? Wants to control? Is that what it would want? Or is that what Bedlam wants? Does it matter? Okay, let's go with it doesn't matter. Rather than having something we don't have answers to. Okay, Jenny. If it doesn't... Why would it show me Edward? How does that control me? Maybe it gets me to go back in. But that implies it. What? Okay. If it's alive, that implies that it wants me for some reason. So that it has some agenda. Okay. What if it just is what it is? It's addictive? Maybe. But until then, it didn't do things... It mostly tried to get rid of me. Didn't it? Was it trying to scare me? Was I trying to scare me? Okay. If it thinks, then it wants, it has a goal. It wanted Bedlam to be in control, or maybe it wanted to control Bedlam. That would mean that it wants to control me. That doesn't feel right. Maybe it's right. Do I just not want it to be right? I don't know. Okay. It wants to control me. How do you control people? Option one, force. Put a sword or put a knife to their throat. But that's not efficient. You know, like, force is never the right option when you can be subtle. So how do I subtly get people to do what I want? Tempt them? Deliver on promises. What if I actually can do it? It can control, it could control me. It could give Bedlam that specific power. Gave Bedlam what he wanted. The veil keeps people trapped. It doesn't want people to leave, so it entices you. It entices you with what you want. But you can't keep people forever with empty promises. It never works. So you need to have real promises. So either it looks for people that want to be in control or it accentuates those facts. But it has to be real in some capacity. Or at least you need to think that it's real. Those words, those last words, that doesn't, those last words, is that something I wanted? Is that something I wanted to hear? No, I wanted to know why. Does that tell me why? No. 
Does getting to say goodbye tell me why? No. Does making me bow? Well, that would, because it implies that Edward could be pulled back by it. But I see, I think it's likely, it doesn't matter, that would work. So it hasn't told me something. No, it has. It tells me that there's some sort of lingering concept, whether it's something we make for ourselves or not. And that means that if Edward thought it was unavoidable, it may have been unavoidable. That spoke to me first. What did it say? Did it start with destroy? Destroy is not an answer to any question that I'm asking. So I have to imagine that it's either tied to Bedlam and what he actually did, or that it inspired Bedlam to do those things, which means that it has a purpose. There's a consistent goal. Whether it's because it was applied to me or because it's what it is all time, it doesn't matter. What would be the goal in providing me relief? Nothing. It doesn't want me to have answers. Why would it want me to have answers? Giving me answers causes me to leave. That's the answer. Like, that's what I'm looking to do. I won't come back. So it needs to deny me answers. But why give me something? If it needs to deny me answers, then it can't give me something that will get rid of me. And it did. Which means there's some reason that it gave me what I wanted. Not even what I wanted. It gave me something new? Was it something I heard? It could have been something I heard. Okay, it's something that I heard, now I'm regurgitating it. It's processing, it's making me process the things that I'm feeling, maybe. If I did hear it, if that's what I think his last words could have been, am I wrong about him? I go in with a knife and my last words are, oh, maybe he took a knife. Could have been in the piles, okay? So maybe he went in on arm. Doesn't matter. It looked like one of our knives. Could have been any knife. Lots of knives are the same. I think Jenny. Okay. He went in knowing that Bedlam could stop him with a knife. And his last words are, I wish things had been different. Maybe that's true. If it's true, then I'm wrong. But I didn't want to be wrong. I wanted to know why. Maybe I wanted to be wrong. I don't think I wanted yet. Did I? Ah! Stupid head. Stop it. Okay. If it gives me what I want, somehow it's aware. It would have to be, right? To keep people trapped, it has to have some need for that to be the case. We assume that there is some agenda. Perhaps the person before Bedlam wanted to just capture people. Maybe it had some reason for servants or slaves. And if Bedlam was one and ended up with the artifact, then it can reshape it? This is a... But Bedlam would have been brought to their will eventually. 
and all of the others. It didn't trap the bandits. Not really. They were able to, I mean, they got over here well enough. Which means it doesn't always keep people, which means there's a goal. Something about something, something. It's <sighs> enough. Enough for now. Later. I'll think it out. I'll figure it out later. I'll think later. It's built in, I can't figure out what the goal is. I don't know. Looks like everyone else went to sleep. So I'm going to sneak in and see if that sword is there. Out of character, I don't know the answer to the sword question, so this is going to be me acquiring knowledge that I'll use in the future. Where'd I put my bedroll? There we go. really hope it doesn't rain tonight. I don't want to set up my whole tent. I can just move it inside if I... Yeah, if it rains, I'll just move inside. Okay. There we go. There's an actual thought that's worth something. Oh, it's supposed to be all the time, brain. Okay. Good place as any. <laughs> 